What's up guys, Crazed here, back again with another quick video here for you, and I am on Elongation, or is it, I can't remember which one is, is this just long, I can't remember what this map is called, to be honest, uh, fun little map though, I, I didn't mind it, I didn't mind it, not the best map ever, but man, when you play it like with shotguns and CTF or something on this map, that is a good time, that's a good time, because you can't, can't do this crazy shoot from afar and whatever else, uh, you have to get up close and personal, and that's just fun. I, I know, I played this on uh, the PC, and that was just really a lot of fun to do. Uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait for this update we got coming. Uh, I can't wait to see what we're all going to be getting with the UI, and of course, hopefully the playlist manipulator, or whatever you want to call it, uh, playlist editor. That would be amazing if that happens. Uh, that would be just something cr incredible. I want to play some crazy games in Halo, and uh, just being able to set up a playlist would just be really fun and easy to do. So I'm really open for that. That's like my biggest feature I really want right now, other than some maybe some fresh maps for Halo 2 Anniversary, because that would be amazing. Um, but that's a whole other video some other time, because I would love to see some fresh maps for Halo 2 Anniversary, because that playlist is just incredibly fun I love the maps they look incredible um, I would really really love to see that but that's not what I really wanted to talk about today because I just had this thought uh, Frank O'Connor uh, put out a tweet <laughs> well someone sent Frank O'Connor a tweet and said Halo Reach is like the best game of all time uh, best Halo game of all time and that's easily debatable. Depends on how you want to look at it. Uh, but I, I enjoyed Reach. I ain't going to lie. I enjoyed Halo Reach a lot. Uh, but he responded back and he said, you know, honestly, uh, uh, he's been received that it's either the best game of all time or the worst game of all time. And it just, it really depends. It really depends on how you look at it. Um, I love the customization of it. I love some of the other options that you had with Halo Reach that just aren't anywhere else uh, they kind of disappeared in in future games or, or you know Halo 4 and Halo 5 well, it's still an incredibly uh, fun game uh, if they use the title update uh, version I would really really love to see that uh, happen but he said uh, something along the lines that there was a bunch of uh, scenes or something like that was was kind of deleted or cut out and uh, due to time or whatever else and, and so I posted I posted this and it was really kind of cool uh, director's cut for Halo Reach please <laughs> come on now director's cut for Halo Reach I think that would just be amazing uh, just have a few extra scenes with the civilians because that's what I really loved about Halo Reach's campaign is it felt very real very on the ground very um, uh, very traumatic at times because it was you were losing friends left and right um, plus the civilians were in trouble they needed help and that was really one of the best things about it is that you were very interactive with civilians uh, at any given time uh, you could go up to them and you could see them uh, of course suffering and in pain from the Covenant uh, and just all sorts of really incredible fun things and I would love to see that taken to the next level obviously in Halo Reach for a director's cut uh, but even in the future Halo titles uh, that would be a lot more interesting than some of the scenes that we had in Halo 5 because to be honest it felt very stagnant very uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about some of the cutscenes in Halo 5 a uh, very pretty I will say that they were very pretty, but definitely not my favorite story, not by any means. As a matter of fact, it was really kind of confusing in how they just dropped everything from the story wise from Halo 4. But I don't know. So I, I kind of really curious to see where they're going to go with this in Halo 5. Are they just going to drop the Guardians and be like, that's it? 
Is Atriox going to make an appearance? Is the Flood going to return? Is, is the Chief going to deal with them again? Are they going to split up? I mean, there's so many questions right now, and we obviously have no answers. We don't even have a trailer to even make guesses off of. Uh, but I know there's a lot of people stretching out there, uh, stretching for any type of content for a Halo, and they're just grasping at the straws. As I think that was a really uh, interesting uh, observation of uh, Lagundo, if you ever seen his channel, but. He, he had some good points. It's like people are just stretching, and, and it's it's understandable at some point because, you know, we haven't had any news. But I'm saying director's cut, Halo Reach. It's going to happen. Confirmed. <laughs> Not at all, but hey, we can hope. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening to my crazy comments. And uh, if you do like the video, do give it a like, and, of course, comment and subscribe. Comment, like, and subscribe.